Annyeonghaseyo! To our brothers and sisters in Hamyang County, your brothers and sisters here in Cordoba, Cebu, sends our warm congratulations for your Hamyang Wild Ginseng Anti-Aging Expo this year. We pray that everyone in your county and the Republic of Korea as well is in good health and is safe from the mysterious coronavirus disease, COVID-19. We are all suffering in this uncertain time. COVID-19 is still with us, affecting our health and most of all, our economy. The pandemic has limited our mobility. We in Cordoba would have wanted to visit again your beautiful county and join you in this worthy event, but COVID-19 prevented us to do so. The last time I, together with our cultural dance ensemble and officials were in Hamyang. The typhoon also limited our time to further know each other's culture. Hopefully, next year, 2022, our delegation will be able to travel to Hamyang again. For your information, many Filipinos believe in the many medicinal powers of ginseng, including adding years into our life. And I am more than happy to help spread the news that ginseng also helps protect ourselves from COVID-19 infection. For those who have not visited our town, Cordoba is a small yet dynamic town located in Mactan Island, province of Cebu. It is home to famous 10,000 roses in the Philippines and soon the receiving end of an 8.9 kilometer bridge that connects Cordoba directly to Cebu City. We are a municipality of 70,000 people and the main source of livelihood is fishing. If Hamyang is home to wild ginseng, Cordoba is also home to the famous Pacasi or the Tiger Reef Eel, which like Jensen, is known for its wondrous effect on men. Kidding aside, many people from all over the world come to Cordoba to taste the Bacasi and feel its wonders. I hope that you will also have the chance to come here and experience our culture. Again, congratulations Hamyang on your Wild Ginseng Anti-Aging Expo and more power to Hamyang County Mayor Sto Chon Stu and to all the people in Hamyang as well. Kamsa Hamnida!